Uh, greetings, greetings, fellow grade tens. It's Mr. Sajayo here. Welcome to Back to Basics. Now, look, what we are doing today, uh, basically, we are looking at, you know, our application of trigonometry, whereby we are going to be looking at our 2D shapes, right? Now, we are going to be attempting our past paper, which was written in the year 2022, uh, September, right? So this is from the KZN province. This is September common test uh, 2022. All right, okay. Now let's see in terms of how do we go about when solving such questions. Now, number one, uh, the question or rather the statement stated that now you are having two buildings, right? Hopefully, you know, you are going to be in a position to follow the size of this particular question, right? Now, they are saying two buildings, uh, meters apart uh, in length, uh, which is length ED separated by uh, a park, right? Now they say a person uh, on top of the uh, shorter building uh, at point A calculate the length of the elevation of B from A to uh, what? Uh, from A to B 30 degrees and uh, the angle of depression of D from A to be what? To be uh, 50 degrees. No. So they are saying now, uh, looking at this wording, the angle of elevation, right? When we talk about the angle of elevation, basically it's the angle starting from a horizontal plane going upward, right? Going upward, right? So which means this particular angle here, it's this which we call the angle of elevation, right? Elevation. Oh, to get. And now when you're starting the angle from the upper uh, angle, right? From upward going downward, right? From upward going downward. This, we call this the angle of what? This is the angle of depression, right? This is going to be the angle of depression because it's that uh, from the horizontal above going downward. Oh, to get. Now, they want us to calculate what is going to be the size of your angle ADE, right? So they want us to find out what is A, D, uh, and also E. So they want us to find out what is going to be this particular angle, right? Now, there's something that I want you to note. So since this is 90 degrees, surely this is definitely going to be what? This is definitely going to be 90 degrees, right? So which means now your AC is actually, right? Your AC is going to be parallel to your what? To your ED, right? And if your AC is parallel to your ED, now what is the next thing that you're going to do now? Which means now your angle CAD, right? Your angle CAD, right? Your angle CAD, uh, which is this particular angle, the angle of depression, is going to be the same as your angle A. D E right? It's going to be same as your angle A, D, E. And what is going to be the reason behind that? These are alternating angles, right? These are alternating angles because your A, C is parallel to your E, D. All together, right? So which means now, which means your angle A, D, E is actually 50 degrees then now, right? So which means the angle here is actually 50 degrees now. All together. Hopefully now this one makes sense. Let's look at the next one, right? Now they want us to calculate what is the length of uh, the what of uh, BD, the height of the taller building, right? So they want us to calculate what is going to be the totality of this length here, right? Now, so let's see in terms of how can we then go about uh, in calculating for the uh, totality of that length, right? Uh, now, let's see, firstly, what is it that we're going to start with, right? Uh, now, from here, is there anything that you are given? Now, they are saying the two buildings are 45 meters apart. So, which means your length of ED, this is 45, right? It's because that's what we are given. Now, if, let's say, we are going to start and look at, let's say, we are focusing in our triangle ADE, firstly, triangle ADE. So what is it that you're going to do now when you're looking at your triangle ADE? So you are going to say now, look, in triangle ADE, uh, right? Your angle ADE. Uh, now we are looking for 
uh, your height, which means basically we are looking for your AE, right? Now, what is it that you're going to do? Now you are having this angle here. You are looking for this opposite side and you're having the adjacent side. So, which means you are going to say your turn of your 50 degrees, this is equal to what? Your turn of your 50 degrees is the same as your AE, right? Which is the opposite over your ED. All together, it's same as your AE over what? Over your ED. All together. And now when you're doing that, what is your ED? Which means this is same as turn of 50 degrees is equals to your AE over the ED that we are given. It's 45, right? And when you cross multiply, which means your AE is going to be same as 45 ton of 50 degrees, right? 45 ton of 50 degrees, which means now your angle of AE is actually going to be same as what now, right? So which means if you are looking for your angle of AE or rather your, uh, your length of your AE, your AE is going to be same as 53, uh, comma, six three meters right this is go going to be 53 comma six three meters this is five three comma six three meters so that's going to be the length of this particular right of this particular thing right now now that you have this particular length how to care now we know that this length here uh, it's same as your length of your what of your pc which means we have this length right now what else now can we calculate now from here I want you to have an understanding that now, if we are saying this length, uh, your CD, your CD is also 53,63. Now, your AC, your length of your AC, this one is also the same as this one, which means this is going to be your 45 uh, meters, right? So if this is your 45 meters, now, the same thing that you are going to do now from here, we are going to use this opposite side and also this adjacent side, right? Uh, so now we are going to say, look, remember we said already our AC is 45. So we are going to use our turn again. You are saying turn of 30 degrees is going to be close to, what is the opposite side? The opposite side, it's BC. And what is the adjacent side? It's AC. All together. So what does this mean now from here? So which means now from here, you are going to say this is same as a uh, turn of 30 degrees is equals to uh, your BC over what is your AC? Your AC is going to be same as your 45. Oh, it's okay. And now when you are doing that, which means now your BC is actually going to be same as 45 turn of 30 degrees. Oh, it's okay. And now if that's your, uh, your BC, so which means basically now when you're looking for the length of your uh, BC, this is going to be 25,98 uh, meters, right? So your BC is 25,98 meters. And now that we know that this is 925, uh, so your what? Now your BD, can you see that your totality of your BD, right? The total length of your BD, uh, it is given by what? Your BD is given by BC plus, this is BC plus CD. All together, this is BC plus CD. So what does this mean now? What is going to be your BC? Now, your BC you already given by 25,98 plus your CD. And your CD now, this is going to be same as, uh, remember this was given by uh, your CD, it's 53 comma six three right so when you add both of these this is going to be same as 79 comma six one meters 79 comma six one meters so basically that is going to be the length of this particular side altogether your side of your pt hopefully now all of this makes sense right so this is you know how you go about when you solve these application uh, questions of trigonometry right they are not really that difficult. Thank you very much for listening.